What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gregson. Welcome to Shifting Lanes, and welcome back to the Volvo V70R. So today, uh, I have a couple of errands I wanted to run. So I thought it would be a good time to give a review of the brake job that Hanson and Chad did in the last video. So I'm sitting here just outside of my house, and that is not that is not my house. Um, that's the house across the street. So. Right now, I'm just sitting outside of my own house. I'm parked, and the brakes are working, so that's good. Hanson drove the car back to my place, because uh, technically this is my project car. Um, it's not. It's the Shifting Lanes project car. It just happens to sit in my driveway. Um, so I've been driving this thing the most, so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to do a before and after kind of reaction video. So I'm going to put it into drive, and I'm going to hope to God that uh, they did this properly. So let's see what happens. Okay. Pulling away right off the bat. Uh, I had the parking brake on. I had the regular brakes on. Everything was fine. This thing has been sitting in my driveway. I have a pretty, uh, steep incline of a driveway. So let's see how it goes. Pretty good. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you that there is a noticeably better feel. Um, if you saw in the last video, and actually in a previous video where I kind of went over everything that was wrong with the car, uh, you saw that the rotors were very warped. Uh, or not, sorry, not warped. That was super incorrect. Uh, pitted and grooved. They were very worn. Um, worn is the word I was looking for, not warped. So yeah, pitted and grooved. Uh, they just looked old. They had a lot of wear to them. So what we did is we got the big brake kit from FCP Euro um, and we installed that. It was rotors, pads, and they had all the accoutrement that needed to go with that. Uh, FCP Euro provided that kit for us, so a huge thanks to them uh, for helping us out with this build. Uh, if you want to learn more about FCP Euro or what they do, please go to their website. If you buy parts from them, they will replace them free of charge for life for as long as you own your car. That is not a gimmick. It's not anything. That, that is their business model, and it actually works really well because... This guy's, like, flying. Um, it works really well because if you're going to buy parts from them and they're going to, you know, continue to give you wear parts like a brakes or oil or whatever, wouldn't you want to buy more parts from them? So... I personally would, so go check them out. They're an awesome company and they've been hugely helpful with us. So FCP Euro, if you own any European cars like Volvo, Audi, BMW, anything like that, go to the website and check them out. These are Volvo Brembo rotors and these are Brembo pads. You saw that in the last video because it said Brembo right on it. So um, the brakes themselves feel a lot better. Uh, just driving around on these roads, I can tell that they are much more linear they they seem to be they seem to give a lot more grab and I'm doing a couple of just like small brakes here going around corners and to stop signs and the car is stopping perfectly fine uh, it's not crazy noticeable but to someone that was driving the car a lot like me it is very noticeable so I think that just around town so far this seems like a very needed and very good uh, upgrade, even though the upgrade is back to kind of a stock feel. They're not, you know, racing brakes or anything like that. Uh, you know, Brembo's are great brakes, so, you know, not going to complain about that at all. The, the, the feel is really, really good in light braking. So let's, I'm actually about to go down a pretty good downhill. So let's build up a little speed and do a really hard brake and see what happens. Let's hope the camera kind of stays in place. So we're going to build up some speed here. We're gonna stop right now. ABS, wow, wow, okay. <laughs> that is very good. And actually that worked out pretty well because there was a squirrel in front of me. So it didn't kill that squirrel, nature. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, wow, I'm kind of blown away. Um, where Hanson said in that other video where we all did kind of the first drive, it said the brakes didn't work. Honestly, that really wasn't true. The brakes worked. They just didn't work optimally. They weren't really, uh, they were just old. They were old and worn. They needed to be replaced. The pads and rotors definitely needed to be replaced. 
uh, calipers are fine. They still have the R on them and they look to be in decent shape. And the brake lines, we're definitely gonna re replace the brake lines at some point too, but uh, those looked uh, pretty good that we can kind of leave them for now and just get them done at a later date. Uh, the rotors and pads needed to be addressed immediately. So yeah, uh, <laughs> do, just doing that has drastically changed the braking profile of this car. It is just on that downhill, just in that one hard stop. Oh my God. The, the those the, the brakes didn't work thing you know they work now they definitely work now let's let let's try it again I'm on another straightaway there's a sharp right hander coming up building it up 60 hard brake whoa oh you almost you heard some brakes you heard, uh, heard some tire squeal there oh wow this thing has some pretty good stopping power I mean giant you know, Brembo brakes will definitely help that, but whoa, okay. Before, <laughs> I'm not even sure if we need better brakes to, to beat an M3. Wow, okay, um, pedal is very, li let, let's go over some of the points. Uh, the pedal, very linear. Um, it's more, it's definitely more firm for sure. It's a more firm pedal. Uh, I think uh, flushing the brake lines and uh, doing that also helps. The pads have definitely been seated properly. The um, the new rotors, wow! I mean, you could tell with the old rotors that when you uh, when you hit the brakes, um, and even at a low speed, that the brakes were you know a little chattery. They may have been they may have been a little warped. I'm just going to adjust here. Uh, they may have been a little warped. These definitely, it's so linear and it's so smooth on the brakes now that I think that just in braking alone, I mean, obviously, you know, it, this is a heavier car than an M3, so it's not going to outperform an M3 in braking yet. Um, we may need to upgrade the brakes again at some point in time, but I think if we can find an E46 and put it against this as it stands in the brakes department, it's not too bad. And we've had a couple of people that own E46s reach out to us, one in particular that owns a V70R and an E46. And not once was it talked about the brakes needing upgrading. So that should speak volumes in and of itself. Uh, overall, I think that this was a rousing success. I think that uh, Hanson and Chad did an incredible job. Um, definitely go check out that video, which I will link below in the description to see that brake job. Um, if you own a Volvo V70 or V70R, you can utilize that as a tutorial, which is really kind of cool. Um, and you don't have to go on forums and digging for, you know, pictures and explanations. You can just watch that video and that's exactly how you do it. So yeah, uh, really good. Uh, before and after kind of reaction to this, before it would stop the car, but it wouldn't stop the car really effectively in an emergency situation. If a deer ran out in front of my car right now, well, my car, uh, if a deer ran out in front of the Volvo right now, I would be much, much more confident that I would be able to stop uh, and not destroy that deer in any way, shape or form. So yeah, Hanson and Chad, awesome job guys. So anyway, that is it for this quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. The next thing we're going to do, we have some parts on order. Uh, I won't give away exactly what we're going to be doing, but uh, the parts are on order and we are really excited to do the next upgrades because there are going to be some suspension upgrades. Um, handling prowess will increase and it's just going to be hopefully an all around better feel as a driver's car. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm Gregson. Thank you again for tuning into Shifting Lanes and I will catch you next time. See ya.